Today, we're taken to the high seas and counting down the top 10 best Lego pirate ships. Hello everyone, welcome to Second Brick to the Left. Here, we talk about Lego set news, reviews and tips. Before we dive in, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Lego has released some amazing ships throughout the years, from small rowboats to impressive sail ships. Lego has also produced some epic pirate ships, so let's take a look at some of their best. We will be looking at pirate ships from various Lego themes, including Lego Pirates, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, and one or two other popular themes too. Most of these sets are retired, but as with any Lego set, if you really want it, secondhand marketplaces do exist. This list is my top 10. If you disagree, please leave your own top 10 in the comments below. So let's get into the top 10 Lego pirate sets. The 10th best Lego pirate set is the Renegade Runner. This Lego pirate set has an item number of 6268 and was released in 1993. It had 178 pieces and came with four minifigures. Despite being a small set, it had a lot of details, like the fabric sails with rope threading, multi-levels within the ship, a movable rudder, compass, a firing cannon, and there's even a dragon figurehead at the front of the ship. With the huge skull and crossbones on the main sail, as well as several smaller sails, there is no mistake that this is a pirate ship. This was one of my first ever Lego sets and I loved it. I rebuilt it so many times. Its striking image and small size secures this set spot at 10th place. At 9 is the creatively named Pirate Ship, item number 31109. This set has 1,264 pieces and is the only ship on this list that is still available for purchase on lego.com. This is a Lego creator set and is three sets in one. So you can choose to make a pirate ship, a pirate's inn, which does look very cool, or a skull island. It comes with three minifigures. There are some interesting build techniques to give the captain's cabin an ornate shape and the colours are really vibrant without detracting from the brown hull. I love the mermaid figurehead. What spoils this ship for me is the sails. I'm not a fan of the chunky brick sails with the skull and crossbones made out of more bricks. The shark also looks weird, like a comical cartoon version of a shark. The eighth best Lego pirate ship is the Silent Mary from Pirates of the Caribbean. This set is actually the biggest Lego pirate ship on this list at 2,294 pieces. It has an item number of 71042 and was released in 2017. This was Captain Salazar's ship and is striking with its open hull and torn sails. It had eight minifigures including Captain Jack Sparrow and Captain Salazar. This should be higher on the list. It's a complex set with some interesting design elements that have been created really well in Lego form, like the open hull that moves. However, it looks really weird. It's a freaky ship. It's supposed to look creepy and never achieve that. But I don't think it's the best pirate ship and it's quite niche. The seventh best Lego pirate ship is the Brick Bounty, item number 70413. This had 745 pieces and was released in 2015. The red and gold bricks on this set make it look very ornate. Clearly our pirates have been doing very well for themselves. The part with the steering wheel could be removed to view inside the captain's cabin. The minifigures for this set were interesting, consisting of not just pirates but also of blue coats. The narrative for this set is that the blue coat soldiers have caught up with the brick bounty in their rowboat. The fact that that was possible leaves this set at only 7th place. However, this is not the only ship with red and white sails that makes this list. There may be one or two more. At 6 is the Pirate Ship Ambush from Lord of the Rings, item number 79008. This was released in 2013 and had 756 pieces. The wing-like sails are striking and set this ship apart from the rest. The sail shapes are echoed in various parts of the ship which makes it look really cohesive as a design. The colour palette of greys and browns work really well with each other. 
This came with nine minifigures, including our heroes Legolas, Aragorn and Gimli, as well as a pirate of Umbar, several orcs and three members of the Army of the Dead. The Army of the Dead minifigures even glowed in the dark. At five, we have Brickbeard's Bounty. Item number 6243. This set was released in 2009 and had 592 pieces. This is Captain Brickbeard's ship. Similarly to the Brick Bounty, number seven in this list, red and gold feature heavily in the design. This ship has a mermaid figurehead, a net which could be raised and lowered, and a golden treasure chest full of gems. This ship has a rather dark narrative. The pirates have kidnapped the Admiral's daughter and the soldiers are here to rescue her before she's made to walk the plank in shark infested waters. Although in this image, the soldiers seem far more interested in the treasure chest. So to hell with the Admiral's daughter. In fourth place is Queen Anne's Revenge from Pirates of the Caribbean. This had an item number of 4195 and had 1097 pieces. It was released in 2011. The sails of the ship are stunning. They are a deep red which is also reflected in some of the pieces in the hull. The skeletons decorating the ship are creepy but also impressive. This is a pirate ship you wouldn't want to cross on a dark night. This came with seven minifigures including Captain Jack Sparrow, Blackbeard and Angelica who was exclusive to this set. Before we count down our final three, there are some honourable mentions. Pirates of Barracuda Bay, item number 21322. This impressive shipwreck was released in 2020 and had 2,545 pieces. This loses out on a spot on our top 10 because top 10 ships aren't wrecks. This set can also be built into a ship inspired by one of the ships coming up in our top three. Ship in a Bottle. This had an item number of 21313 and was released in 2018. It had 962 pieces. Although technically not a pirate ship, it deserves a mention because it looks so awesome. The Flying Dutchman from SpongeBob SquarePants. Released in 2002, this set had an item number of 3817 and had 241 pieces. It's a very small set, but it's a complete pirate ship, and I love Patrick Starfish in his little pirate outfit. Destiny's Bounty from the Lego Ninjago movie. This was released in 2017 with an item number of 70618 and had 2,295 pieces. It's very detailed and the finish is awesome. This might have made my list if I'd seen that movie. Back to our countdown. We're on to our final three. The third best Lego pirate ship is the Black Pearl from Pirates of the Caribbean. This had an item number of 4184 and was released in 2011. It had 804 pieces and unsurprisingly, a lot of these were black. The ship looks stunning and has all the types of details you'd expect of a pirate ship from sails, cannons and an anchor. The rear of the ship opened to reveal the captain's cabin and you could even lift up the piece of the deck with the steering wheel to get a top down view of the cabin. This had six minifigures including Captain Jack Sparrow and Will Turner. This is the most famous ship from Pirates of the Caribbean and its iconic look with the black sails earned it the third spot on this list. The second best pirate ship is the Black Seas Barracuda. It had an item number of 6285 and had 909 pieces. We're going all the way back to the start of the Lego Pirates theme with this one. Released in 1989, it was one of the first Lego pirate ships and has been the inspiration for some of the past ships, including the aforementioned Brickbeard's Bounty and the Brick Bounty. This was re-released in 2002 with the same name and unfortunately again in 2020 under the name Pirates of Barracuda Bay, where we discover this ship has become a wreck. Although you could reuse the parts to build a ship inspired by the Black Seas Barracuda. This set had a crew of eight minifigures led by Captain Redbeard. This ship's history and continued story secures its spot at number two. 
And finally, the best pirate ship is Skull's Eye Schooner, also known as the Black Skull in some markets. This had an item number of 6286 and was released in 1993. It had 912 pieces, which made it the largest Lego pirate set of the 1980s and 90s. Skull's Eye Schooner was the pinnacle of Lego ships and one of the best Lego sets of the era. This set had so many details, including an intricate rigging system with fabric sails, a retractable anchor, a winch to hoist treasure, a movable rudder and movable beams. This set just beats out Black Sea's Barracuda, as Skull's Eye Schooner improves on a few of the features, including the sides of the ship opening to reveal the captain's cabin, and the ship's wheel being able to turn the rudder. Plus, the black and white sails look awesome. The cannons could be moved from one side of the ship to the other, and as you'd expect from Lego cannons, they could fire rounded bricks. It came with nine minifigures, including Captain Redbeard. It also had some classic Lego pirate animals, including a monkey, a shark, and a parrot. I got this set for Christmas 1994, and it was probably the best Christmas present I ever got. I remember the year because that's the year the National Lottery launched in the UK and I wanted my family to win it so I could have Skull's Eye Schooner early. Oh, I was so young and innocent. Well, that brings us to the end of this list. Do you agree with my top 10? Let me know in the comments below and let me know if you had any of these sets too, especially if you had Skull's Eye Schooner. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and why not subscribe? Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.